Hi, so in this video I want to show you how to modify your folders with Superpower Chat GPT. Before we start, uh, you need to have the Superpower Chat GPT extension installed. And to do that, go to Google, search for Superpower Chat GPT, click on the first link. It will send you to this new page where you can click on Add to Chrome and it will add the extension to your browser. Once you add the extension to your browser, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page, and it will load all of the Superpower ChatGPT features inside ChatGPT. Now, with Superpower ChatGPT installed, you can, uh, under left side, we already have some folders, but if you don't, you can click on this button at the top and create a new folder. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna create a new folder. When you create a new folder, it will automatically get a random color and you can give it a new name. I'm going to give it um, a new name called new folder 4. Um, you can change the name of the folder anytime you want. So I can go here, click on rename and change it to um, personal stuff, for example. You can also change the color of the folder. If I go here, I see a two button there is a reset button if i click on it it will reset the color of the folder to the default color which is what you see at the top here and at the bottom if i want to give it a different color i can go here and click on it on this box and here i can select a different color i can even keep moving it until i find the color that i like um, and um, we recommend to for better visibility it's better to have like a darker color because the text on the folder is white in the dark mode so it's better to have that um, so that you can see the, the, the text on the folder better another thing you can do here let's say you have another folder here and you want to um, color this folder the same as the other folder so you can go here click on this then there's a icon here uh, the eyedrop icon you can click on this eyedrop icon and then you can go on the folder that you like select that and that new folder will get the same color as the other folder so that's how you can set the color of your your folders um, the same um, by just using the eyedrop icon um, another cool thing you can do with the folders is that you can um, give them an image you can set an image for each folder so to do that you just go here click on set image and it will um, open your um, folder for you you can just like pick a picture here um, I'm gonna like go to avatar and maybe because it's personal I'm gonna just pick this image select that and that folder automatically gets that image now um, if you don't want to keep that image you can always go here um, either click on set image to change the image or click on remove image to completely remove that image um, and um, you can also use like icons or like that ico that png uh, all of those like supported uh, image format you can use them to set the image for your folders. Um, so that's how you can um, modify the folder image. Another thing you can do here is you can set a profile for your uh, folder. So if you don't know about profile, um, profiles are um, basically, um, profiles are custom instruction profiles uh, that you can create to give chat gpt a different uh, character uh, for example you can give give it more information about yourself and how you want chat gpt to respond to you and that way um, all of your conversation with chat gpt will follow those uh, specific um, profile now we talk about profile in another video but i'm just going to show you some of the profile that we already have here so to see your profile you can go to the manager, click on this icon, custom instruction profile, and you can see here that we have 
uh, for uh, example of different profile personal profile is the profile that is currently enabled you can only have one profile enabled at any time and that profile only applies to new conversation you create with that profile now um, if i want i can just enable another profile here uh, and then start a conversation and that profile will be applied to those conversations but let's say you want to give your uh, folder um, let's go back here find the new folder we created right here um, and click on set profile when i do that it shows me that uh, which folder i'm selecting your profile for and i can enable any one of these for a profile for this folder let's say i'm going to enable the work profile now what does that mean um, you can also create a new profile here by the way uh, but you can just enable one of the existing one from the list once i enable that profile i can close this and uh, go to personal uh, stuff inside this folder now as you can see and as i showed you earlier um, the current profile that is enabled is personal you can also see that from the list here out of all the profiles personal is the one that is enabled now if i click on go to the personal stuff folder then click on start a new chat in this folder you can see that um, the um, the uh, icon for the for the um, folder is added here it should also automatically change the enable profile here um, to work let me try that one more time go back then go to um, personal stuff click on start a new chat okay uh, this time it worked you can see that it automatically changed the profile for uh, that new conversation to work so um, that's how you can um, basically set a profile for a folder and automatically switch to that profile when you start a conversation inside that folder i hope that helped uh, let me know if you have any questions and thank you